guys, Ash here, coming at you today with a quick news video for you all. How you doing, guys? Good to see you, even though I can't see you, but you can see me. That's kind of weird. It is kind of weird, honestly, just being in this in this room for the most part all day. Work. I work remotely, and I obviously record remotely, and talking to so many people. But yet, it's just it's just me chilling here by myself. Anyway, guys, I digress. We have some news, and and I think it's really good news. I know this is a controversial topic. If you actually look through my my video catalog here in Raid Shadow Legends, I've never made a video on any of the cheating scandals and all this stuff in the past because I've always had the mentality, and I guess the philosophy, not to be too you know whatever about it, is, is I think that uh, bringing attention to these things generally speaking, just gives it more publicity and more people do it, right? So there's been various cheating scandals throughout the time in Raid Shadow Legends. And in the game especially, whether you spend money or whether you spend time in Raid, uh, going against people who are spent, who are getting the same results but spending less money and or time, it just sucks, right? I'm, I'm anti-cheating, you know? And I'm not sitting here on my freaking ethical high horse and being like, you're a scumbag and deserve to be jailed if you cheat. I can see the desire or the allure of cheating in a game. Actually, let's just throw let's throw up on the screen. Might as well, right? I mean, I'm going to call her out like that, right? I can see the allure of cheating in Raid Shadow Legends uh, because there's a lot of things that need to continue to be improved, right? Uh, the time issue, it's a full-time job, everything. I get it, right? Making things go faster. But there is really good... I would never do it and I would never advise you guys because, dude, the last thing that you ever want is to have your account banned after you've invested so much time and or money, right, in the game. I would never want that from one of my subscribers, so I would never advise you guys do anything like that. Nor have I, by the way, okay? Uh, and also, I talk more at length about this and kind of my, my you know, what, my history of, of, of what I've seen in the community and stuff on Chosen's channel. He actually brought this to my attention, so massive shout out to him, and I'll link that video for you guys in the description below. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the message, guys. We have some good news here. This screenshot is going around, multiple screenshots from a bunch of players going around who were obviously cheating. Uh, and I say cheating literally because the name of the, of the the program that they're using to make everything run a lot faster in the game is called the cheat engine, the battle cheat engine. So when you're using the cheat engine, you know, you might be, you might get labeled a cheater. It might, it might happen to you. Uh, it says, attention, this is, this is like somewhat new-ish, right? It just got brought to our attention today. It might've been going on for a month. I have no idea. But again, I just learned about this. Uh, and this was a big thing about a year ago, right? Everybody was talking about Cheat Engine and there was this drama ensued, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I never mentioned it because I didn't want to publicize and get you guys in trouble. Anyway, the battle was too fast. Note, this battle won't count to your score. Your resources used to start the battle will be returned to account after a re-login. And then it goes over here, client logic exception battle cheat engine true. So now they have a way to detect and mitigate, actually curb, totally curb, cheating in the game. And this was the biggest issue. So what does a cheat engine even do? What did it do, right? Because now it's stupid to even use it. Even if you, you know, have no problem cheating, it's stupid to use it because you're just wasting your time. Now it will track it, it will get that sheet engine notification true, and then you'll be reimbursed your resources, but you'll have wasted your time, okay? So I wanna throw a quick question to you guys. Do you think this is fair? I think it's pretty light-handed, you know, in terms of uh, in terms of Plarium, what they're doing here. Uh, they're, they're letting them keep their resources, right? and they're not penalizing them. They're not banning these players. They're cracking down on the actual cheating, the actual uh, cheat engine. And honestly, I think this is a an amazing move by player. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I think coming down heavy handed and just mass banning, let's face it, a lot of people who would be inclined to cheat are probably bigger spenders, more hardcore players, you know, not as a generalization or, or as a rule, I should say, but as a generalization. But to me, I don't know, man. To me, uh, you could make the case. You could be super, you know, mad about it and punitive and ban these players. And I totally understand people with that perspective. But for me, I think this is great because what you're really doing is, is you're, you're getting this at the source, you know, literally. Now they are able to actually track it. So you're just wasting your time. So there's no more reason to use the cheat engine. And as I said at the top of this video, if you're going to be cheating, and, you know, this this particular thing, it made you do dungeon runs really fast, right? Like way beyond two times speed. If you're going to be cheating and getting an inherent advantage, especially like clan versus clan, but we don't know what's coming out, right? Whatever's coming out in the year of PvP, 
you know, it's almost guaranteed that just being able to do everything super fast would probably gain you an inherent advantage, right? So I like that they're nipping this in the bud. I want to ask you guys, have you ever cheated in Raid Shadow Legends? Be real with me. No one's going to try to trace it back. Uh, I would love to, honestly, I would love to hear from some of the cheaters. <laughs> so I would love to hear from some of the cheaters. Again, no one's going to lambast you in the comments, but I would like to hear your perspective on this. And I would like to hear from you guys who actually think they should have been heavier handed who people think they should have at least taken the resources away. I want to know your opinions and also check out that video that I did with Chosen for more of his take on this and my take on this. Uh, that's going to be the news for the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.